I gotta call Hal, update the team. What the fuck for? Because Vernon could miss half the season. And what kind of training was he doing? Paintball. If you injure yourself doing something that's not football related or team related, that it is considered somewhat risky, they can jeopardize your contract. We're kind of paranoid because it might mess up my money situation. So we tried, we, we figured out, should we tell him, should we not? You were in the backyard doing agility drills with Marcus, all right? Three Conal drills. I don't like to lie. Vernon, Dallas could never find out how this happened. It's interesting for Spencer to, to kind of deal with a kid who is trying to maintain some degree of integrity by not lying to the organization, but at the same time, parallels with the moral dilemma of, of Spencer and Joe trying to maintain Spice Adams as a client. I've already got Vernon lying to Dallas about his injury. I'm not going to bullshit anybody oh, anymore. Don't be so quick to judge, okay? Let's just go see the property. Where do you draw the line for yourself as far as how far you're, you're, you're willing to go to protect your money as opposed to your self-worth? So there's a kind of dual storylines that are that parallel one another that we love for the, for the episode. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Just been up all night thinking about this whole right tackle thing. It's a tough switch, but you never shied away from a challenge. Charles and his um, stress and anxiety about being asked to move his position has him lost a little bit and, and, and not knowing what his role is. Is he a football player? Is he a father? Is he a husband? Why can't he be all three? It's not like teams are lining up for a 35-year-old tackle. Hey, you're not just any tackle, baby. Mm. You the black swan. Mm -hmm. His spirits need a little lifting, and he's such a great dad that she wants him to feel uh, kind of confident when he's when he's tooling around in the minivan with the kid in the back. You did this for me. I couldn't resist, baby. You make being a dad look so easy. Hard to remember you as a football player. You know, I still show my guys clips from that game you had as a rookie. We lost 42-14. But who got those 14? I did. <laughs> I think when a when a big productive player goes somewhere to be recruited, they expect to be showered with love. Most professional athletes like to be comfortable. They want to they want to feel like home, even when they're away from their actual home. So there's a comfort level, obviously, that he's that he's developed in Miami. So when he gets there, he's slightly disappointed. Red Cow's a big easy brother. Talk to me. For a city full of soul, I ain't feeling it. They want to get into Ricky Jarrett's pants. They better bring the A game. The more comfortable you are off the field, the easier it is to perform on the field. And so for all that to happen, you're best putting your best out there. You want to be as comfortable as possible. They end up figuring that up. And, and at the end, they end up delivering this wonderful parade that kind of makes Ricky feel like, wow, this, this could be someplace that I could set up shop for the rest of my career. Oh,